Hi. We are. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be here. Truly excited with my family. You had said a, a word in the first about being blindsided, and uh, I've been manifesting pretty good. And I'm a powerful creator, powerful focuser. It seemed like I was blindsided a couple times. And I don't know if that's my thought process or what, but. We like uh, to play with you and say, if, sometimes people say it just came out of the blue, and we say, no, it came out of the oblivious. <laughs> you got vibration going on that you're not aware of. And so then it feels like something or someone outside of you is doing something to you, but it's never the case. And it's also important to know that when things come to you that you may be calling unwanted, that sometimes you're calling the question because without the question, you cannot find the answer or you're calling the problem because without the problem, you cannot find a solution that is really tied to other things that are really important to you. And so. We're just wanting to diminish the feeling of being blindsided or diminish the feeling of being a victim or diminish the feeling of something coming to you unwanted and try to get you into a place of accepting that things are always working out for you yes. no matter what yes yes yeah i agree with that and someone uh, should make a big sign and put it somewhere <laughs> <laughs> no i actually said that all the time that you know everything always works out for me and just from listening to you that you know all the contrasts are here to bring clarity and and bring focus because i started a new business and clarity is a gift unto itself isn't it yes sometimes you think you want clarity in order to get somewhere else but isn't clarity some place to be yes absolutely yeah yes yeah but i've been having good rendezvous and meeting different people that because I, I keep saying that I want to have someone to play with yeah. in this real estate game. And so every now and then that I'll rendezvous, we'll meet somebody and it clicks and we go. But yeah. I guess just the blind side thing just kind of gets me sometimes, kind of gets me off focus a little bit. So, Well, stop saying the word. Okay. <laughs> because it implies one of two things. Either there are powerful things out there after me which isn't true or it implies that you're not paying attention and in either case it's up to you in other words there's nothing out there after anyone except what you are attracting and so the perfect definition of being blindsided is I've been practicing a point of attraction that brings to me things that I don't want but I'm so insensitive to my emotion that I don't see them coming until they manifest that was really good <laughs> That's really good. And so the remedy is sort of getting your head out of the specific game of paying attention to what's being manifested for a little while and try to get out ahead of it by paying more attention to how you feel. What is the most exhilarating part of the real estate game that you are playing? What's the most exhilarating part of it? I'm learning how to, you know, buy real estate and raise money for capital and get it in the terms that I want to get it and just own it and create wealth and so what we're hearing is mostly about the manifestation of it yeah and that's why earlier when you were talking about finding clarity we wanted to help you to realize that clarity is the prize that you're looking for because people are saying well if I could have that then I'd feel this way and once that happens then I'll feel this way and once that happens then I'll feel this way and while that may be true we want you to feel this way and then that will happen and feel this way and then that will happen right. so if you'll be looking for clarity rather than money you can get clarity today the money may take a while the money at least has to wait till escrow closes <laughs> <laughs> but the clarity can come today yes yes the idea can come today the relief can come today the feeling of exhilaration can come today so if someone says to you someone in this room particularly says to you what is your work you say I'm in the clarity business <laughs> what and you say yeah yeah I just get real clear and real happy and then good things come to me <laughs> I like that. I like that. and they'll say but what is your business that's it no I mean how do you make a living like that yeah. no I mean how does the money come I get clear and I get happy 
and then the money comes. <laughs> no, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, oh, I don't do anything. <laughs> I don't do anything except get happy and get clear. And then sometimes my clarity says, go over there. So I do. Yes. Is that and sometimes my clarity says, go over there. And so I do. And sometimes my clarity says, say this to that guy. And so I do. But I don't actually think of stuff that I'm going to do. I just get clear and happy. And then I just get ideas. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yes, it is exactly what happens. So you can't get blindsided, can you? Can you? No. <laughs> you can get sloppy in your thinking. Yeah, that's part of it. And you can focus on the past. Yeah. And you can relitigate past experiences. And you can focus on things that are in the opposite of clarity. You can feel a negative emotion and you can not like it. Stay with us. You can feel a negative emotion and you can not like it so much that it makes you want to justify why you've got it. <laughs> you can feel negative emotion and you can not like it so much that it can make you want to explain to others who are seeing you having it, why you've got it. And then you can feel the rumble strips <laughs> and then you can get off in the ditch yep. and off in the mud and then you can be spinning out of control and then you can be calling foul or bad road or unfair but none of it's true you just weren't paying attention right, right. yeah exactly doesn't it feel good to know that you are in control of your own unfolding because you can be in control of your own vibration but how can you be aware of your emotion? How could you separate things that are happening that you can see the real manifested stuff? How can you care more about the emotions when that manifested stuff is happening? What do you do when something really unwanted is really in your face? What do you do? What can you do about it? Not really much because the momentum of it is such that it's going to carry you for a little while so what's the best thing to do when something feels really out of control go to take a nap right just give in to it just give in to it just sort of let it go just give in to it even say to it you win I give up for now you win <laughs> I give up for now because I've shown myself that hear this I cannot fight against my own momentum that I have created <laughs> Right. Yeah. I cannot fight against my own momentum that I have created. Not, I can't fight against you and I can't fight against you and I can't fight against you because it isn't about any of that. I cannot overcome in this moment with action, the momentum that I've been creating. So I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to draw my attention away from it. I'm just going to be distracted from it. I'm going to do whatever I can. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to be distracted from it enough that I am no longer pouring gasoline on the fire. Not right now, not right now, right now, right now no longer pouring any gasoline on the fire and then it will burn itself out during your nap and when you awaken you're gonna feel better and now what is your business your business is clarity your business is thought your business is good feeling your business is getting general enough about it that you can tiptoe back into it so what is the subject of being blindsided what is the subject um, if you want to talk about it well I had manifested or Bought this money in and um, the bank put a freeze on it <laughs> and it was just taken. So more money where that came from? Is there more money? For, Is yeah. there more money where that money came yes. from? Here is the reason we ask that question. Can the bank put a freeze on your vibration? No. <laughs> no. Who can? me and how do you accomplish that by wanting something that you doubt you know that feeling of being locked up that feeling of being powerless that feeling of being confused that's just the opposite of the clarity isn't it it's just energy energy wants to move and this is the thing that we want you to hear this is what we want you to hear about your momentum so you came into this physical body with momentum that we cannot even find words to describe your intentionality when you came into this physical body a very strong powerful current of momentum and everyone who met you when you were little knew it 
Yes. They recognize it in you right away. You were hard to deal with. You were almost impossible to contain. You were <laughs> clear about who you were. You came in with all of that energy. So you begin living life. You know what you don't want. You know what you do want. And even though you were not consciously aware of it, there was momentum that you brought with you that you poured into this vortex that we've been talking about this vibrational reality that precedes the manifestation. But as you were living, you put more into it in those early years, so much momentum into this, this vortex that belongs to you is powerful and ripe and law of attraction has been working on it. And we can feel within you from time to time, your recognition of what it is and how powerful it is. It's a powerful calling. It's such a powerful calling that when you don't let yourself go, it nearly drives you crazy. You cannot stand to not move in the direction of who you are. Even though sometimes you don't, you never like it, not even yes. a little bit. So here's this momentum calling you and often you're distracted. Often you're tuned in. Often you're feeling good. Your personality has evolved to be one who wants to feel good, who looks for positive aspects. You cannot disallow the momentum of your vortex. Nothing that you can do can disallow the momentum of your vortex. The worst that you could do is you could prevent yourself from being in the receiving mode of what the vortex is revved up to. That's why you keep finding these really big ideas because your vortex is full of really big ideas. This is you. This is not a pipe dream. This is not something that you're conjuring irrationally. You're feeling the true essence of this vortex that is powerful. Mm -hmm. And every now and again, you get a glimpse of it. Oh, and it rocks your world when you do. That's what you're used to now. You're used to those feelings of clarity and a feeling of doubt or a feeling of something not working out takes you to your knees because it is so opposite of all of the momentum that you lived before you were in this body and all of the momentum that you've got going. And most of all, this is the part that we really want you to hear the momentum of your vortex that is real and ripe and ready for you to receive. So how do you do it? by just chilling out, by not letting anything get your goal, by not worrying too much about what anybody else is doing, by saying to yourself, it's all me, it's all me, it's all me, it's all me. Esther's been watching something that's happening in her experience and she can see that as she gets into a feeling of alignment, everything just turns in that direction. And if she finds herself worrying about something a little bit, it turns in the other direction. It's all me, it's all me, it's all me, it's all me, it's all me. And I mean to do right by me. I mean to do good for me. I want to feel good, you see. And then just watch, just as a result of this conversation and your alignment because of the words that we are offering, you've come into full alignment with what you're wanting and the freeze is over. The freeze is over. Watch what happens. This is a wonderful conversation You've given us really good words for this wonderful group of people because this business of freezing assets, freezing something, preventing me from having something that I want. It's all me. 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 So you just got to let yourself fall a little bit or instead of saying chill, we're going to say fall. You just got to lighten up. As we're moving forward in the hours that are ahead, you're going to feel better and better and better and better and better at this. We're just scratching the surface of this. It's really wonderful. You do not have a legitimate complaint in the world. Not one. Not one. This is a really good time for a segment of refreshment.